It's tough because especially with scale ups, but in every organization, we are always chasing a number. Yeah. We've always got this quarter's quota, the board's asking about how's it going, right? And, and, and how's next quarter going, right? And so there's always an impulse to hit and beat the number, minimally hit the number, beat the number. And so there's also a thought process of, well, let's expand a little bit. Let's not limit ourselves by who we're going after. So as much as we're trying to focus and define on those core companies that are at our heart of our ICP, the ones that will buy again and the net promoter score will recommend us and are the happiest, we have this tendency to grow beyond it and want to grow beyond it. What is your thought on that? And why is that good, that bad? What's your point of view? Nothing bad about taking business opportunistically that's available. I think organizations need to get really clear on what their ICP is and invest the majority of their resources there, right? Their their sales resources, marketing resources, both financial and human, as I mentioned, thinking about the impact that those decisions have on customer success or product org, et cetera. The additional opportunity to expand, I mean, naturally, you don't want to limit yourself, right? If there's other types of businesses that aren't necessarily a perfect ICP match, and you can do the proper evaluation and recognize that it doesn't throw off the balance in your business, absolutely. You shouldn't be walking away from business like that. But I think that's an important decision for leaders to take, evaluating opportunities that are not a perfect match for your ICP and saying, is this telling us something about the market that maybe we can expand our ICP, right? Because you're right, you could feel like it's too limited long-term. Those guerrilla campaigns can happen and you can find these other opportunities, but you just need to make sure that in closing them and bringing those customers on, that you're not derailing all of the other efforts and investments that you're making across the ICP. And I think that where that has the biggest impact, Steve, I'm sure we'll talk about it, is really on product development and making sure that your organization continues to develop product that really serves the majority of your customers, not the minority. And a lot of businesses make that mistake in chasing the number. They'll take on business that maybe isn't necessarily healthy for the long-term growth of the business for that short-term gain.